What's up guys, Fire Steve here. And uh, before I start this video, it'd be really awesome if you could uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. It's really easy to do and helps out the channel, helps us get more views, helps me do more giveaways. So if you could do that, that'd be awesome. Um, and today we're gonna do something a little different. We, uh, we're gonna open some Dragon Ball Super. I've only ever opened a couple random packs here and there in shorts, but I uh, pre-ordered these two a few months back. Um, got a really good price on them according to today's market value. I think today these are going for like 110, 115 a piece. And I paid $62 per box. So pretty good, pretty good deal or, or a lot of inflation going on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to open this first one. I'm going to leave one sealed and we will see what we can get. So I might run back to my computer a couple times to check the value on these, but um, so it looks like in every box it contains a bonus, super rare or special rare. So we'll we'll see what that is. Maybe we'll save that to the end, unless unless it gets spoiled when I open it. But uh, yeah, let's check this out. It's my first time doing a full box of this, and we'll do the. Oh, it got spoiled. <laughs> No way it couldn't be spoiled. So we got uh, Android 17 and 18 here. That's a sweet looking card though. I'll, ch I'll check the value on that here shortly. But yeah, pretty sweet. So there are so a couple heavy hitters in this I've already seen. Looks like there's a couple, two or three cards that are well over $200, I think. Go Hanks was one of them. And I believe a lot of this stuff is from the uh, Fusion game which I haven't gotten into. Like the Time Patrol, oh look at Gohan, or that's Goten, oh good lord. Yeah, I, I grew up with this show. Used to run home from school every day to uh, to watch it or just binge watch it with VHS tapes. So there's our rare and there's our foil. It's pretty cool foil. VHS tapes with my, uh, my best friends, we would watch them uh, over at his house. That was, that was how we had to do it back in the day, kids. We didn't have any streaming service, any Crunchyroll or Funimation or anything. We had to uh, pull out the VHS and hopefully you didn't rewind it too much and didn't get messed up. But yeah, for, Dragon Ball has always been a, one of my favorite things. I still have never played this game, this card game. and I, I suppose I need to figure it out since I'm opening an entire booster box now. So there is our... Foil, it's an uncommon, and there is our rare, Android 19. But I'm, I think they just recently announced another movie for the Super, which I know the, the manga has been going on, and it would be really nice, because I, th I felt like there was still a lot left to explore in the Super, uh, which they have in the, in the book. A lot left to explore in the Super universe. Which I know some people didn't like it, but I thought it was a good story because it kind of. Oh, there's a rare. Oh man, there is one of the good ones. Let me uh, pause for a second and check out the price on this Majin Buu. So this is a Majin Buu special rare, Assault of the Agents of Destruction. And that foiling is awesome how they do that with the gold. Kind of like, not etched, but just like in spots there. Um, it's a $12 card, so not too bad. Especially considering I only paid uh, $62 or $63 for the box. But yeah, I felt like there was a lot left to do in Dragon Ball Super. And I, I liked it, like I was saying, I liked it because it was... It had the power levels and power-ups and crazy stuff like... DBZ, but the comedy was very similar to the uh, original Dragon Ball series. So we got a rare foil and husband and wife. Bardock. And I never knew how to say her name. Gine. Gine. Yeah, I enjoyed the comedy. I, and I honestly think Whis and Beerus are some of my favorite characters in the entire series after after watching Super. 
Weiss is literally just just worried about food and Beerus is a all bark. Well, I guess he does have some bite. He's a, he's a, he can be a hard ass, but he uh, there's another really cool one. I'll look that one up. He enjoys food as well, just like we. I feel like their mission in life is not to destroy, but to find the best food possible. So this is also a pretty good hit. This is a $16 card. I love that foiling. Look at that. Oh, man, look at even the, the outline on Cooler. Which Cooler was a uh, was Frieza's brother that was, I guess, I guess he's in the fusion game, but was only in the movies. He had a couple movies. So, so far, pretty dang good value for a, uh, I guess if you can get this box at the, like I did, if you were able to get it at the $63 range, it's, there's some good value. Um, we'll see if there's good value in it at the current MSRP of, I think the site that I bought it up from is selling them for $115 now. Game Nerds. That's where I try to get a lot of my pre-orders. They generally do pre-orders pretty Pretty inexpensive. Trunks is always everyone's favorite as well. There's an uncommon foil and a Gohan rare. But yeah, like I said, I need to figure out how to play this game. I have, I'm gonna have a, a stockpile of cards here. I need to go out and get a couple of the uh, the pre-constructed decks, maybe, and kind of at least see how it goes, and then build, maybe build something off of that. King Vegeta, nice. That's just a common. Android 16, the big nature nerd. And we got Son Goku, Hope of the Saiyans, looking looking all cool. And then we got a super rare foil. Chilled. Let the battle begin. That's a cool one too. The foiling isn't quite as cool as the other ones, but still pretty nice. I actually just recently started rewatching the uh, Dragon Ball Super, just to, in hopes that the movie would be coming out soon. I really thought that they would pick up the series sooner rather than later, and maybe COVID had some play in that because the Olympics are coming up, and if I'm not mistaken, Goku is like the mascot of the Olympics, or at least one of them. So you would have thought that. They would like to cash in on that a little bit. Like, hey, here's the mascot of the Olympics. Also, watch Dragon Ball Super Sunday. I mean, you would think that's a cool Gohan card, even though it's just a common. Oh, Supreme Kai of Time. I think this is one of the spicy boys. But once again, I'll stop and check real quick. So this is a, an $8 card. The foiling isn't as cool as the... Um, the other ones but still pretty pretty cool card i think there's another version of this that is foiled out like the majin and cooler ones that we have yeah hopefully they uh i'm not sure what they're gonna do with this movie i haven't seen any spoilers yet um i kind of hope they don't do there's a rare foil and a rare Frieza. I kind of hope they don't do what they did with um, Battle of the Gods and what was the other one? Um, I can't think of what the other one was. Where they just kind of recapped it once the uh, once the show came out because man, it was it was a lot of episodes just to oh the Golden Frieza whatever oh, Resurrection F. That was a lot of episodes just to re replay the, the movies. And I know they say that it's an uncommon Android 18. And a Demon God Ritual of Hand. Rare. I know they say that, I guess in Japan, that a lot of people don't buy the, the movies for some reason. Or if they don't go to the movies and see it, they don't see it. So that's kind of one of the reasons they did it. But man, it was like, all right, can we be done with these and I, it was actually really cool, though, when Super was coming out. I watched, uh, there was a guy that would post it every night that it came out on, um, I think it was on, like, Facebook I would find him. 
and he, uh, I'm gonna go look this one up real quick. He would try to do um, subs for them real quick and post it so you could pretty much watch them live. You pretty much watch them live. So I looked this up real quick. It's another $16 card. It's crazy. So it was, well, you could watch it live and it was in Japanese and then he would like an hour later try to sub it and it was pretty close, but it was cool just being able to like watch, literally watch Dragon Ball live as it was happening for the first time, the same time everyone was watching it in Japan. It was a pretty unique experience. There's a common foil and a rare Gokua the Calamity. I don't... I don't know any of this fusion stuff. I don't know who any of these people are. I mean, I did play a little Xenoverse, so I know who, uh, that's a cool Goten card. I know who some of these are. I know her from the uh, Broly movie. There's a lot of weird internet images of her as well. Is that the same Goten? No. But I'm pretty sure we've gotten that one already. Hellish Throwdown. Android 20. Cooler, that's a common. And Clash of the Mass Warriors. That was like, is that King Vegeta? I it is, I don't know. Man, I got a lot of Dragon Ball Super cards now. Maybe I'll give some of these away. Maybe if you subscribe and comment below, I'll give some of these away. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. And sorry if you hear any banging or pounding or sounds like gunshots in the background. They are currently building my house and there's a lot going on today. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta, whatever you want to call it. And then there was the uh, nice Piccolo common. Piccolo is always a, a favorite. Kind of sad that he didn't get some crazy power up. I think a lot of people thought he was going to get some kind of God power up in super, which he did. He did well in the tournament. I mean, he uh, had some crazy, used some of his old techniques, the arm stretch and whatnot, that we hadn't seen literally since Dragon Ball, since like the last World Martial Arts tournament. It was an uncommon Android 13. He was from one of the movies. It's like a truck driver. And then the rare is Sun Gohan. Yeah, but he used his, like, ripping off the arms, stretching out the arms to wrap up around people. He did he did some of his old school stuff. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. And then you had um, Master Roshi, who all of a sudden was just jacked and trained and ready to fight on the level of a Super Saiyan, it seemed like. So I think they did a little bit of weird, weird stuff in the, uh, in the tournament. <laughs> Uncommon Goku and Bujin Rare. Sorry I'm going so slow through these. I'm just trying to trying to see what I'm pulling here. I'll speed up a little bit. 18, everyone's favorite. There's some weird images of her as well on the internet. There's a rare foil Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue, Sun Goku, full power rare. This card game has definitely taken off though since the uh, the pandemic. It seems like you can't find these, which I know you can't find any trading cards on the shelf, except Magic, anywhere. But even at Target, when they used to have, seemed like they had a lot of this stuff. You don't see it anymore. So there is a Bardock Super Saiyan Enlightenment. That's a pretty cool one. Once again, that's about a $7 card. My prices I'm using for this are just TCG player mid. So these prices could probably change because this set just came out like within the last couple weeks. I know there's been a couple videos online. Clearly people who get the stuff earlier or, or have a deal with Bandai or I mean, possibly Dragon Ball, I guess. I don't know. The champ. And... The very cool trunks here. I like that one. Sorry guys, forgot to hit record when I came back. Missed a couple packs here. We got a uh, Super Saiyan Blue. 
trunks. I think that was it. And Bojack living underneath of uh, King Kai's planet. Yeah, I was saying that I went to get some magic cards the other day at my Walmart, and lo and behold, they are now in um, the cigarette aisle. So you have to look through the cage to see if there's anything you want. Which they keep our cigarettes and snuff and cigars and whatnot locked up. So this is the last pack here. What are we going to get? Royal Supremacy Rare Foil. Ooh, very nice. And uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And i probably going to get some hate for this, but I never liked the design of Super Saiyan 4. So here are our uh, fancy cards here. Mm -hmm. Got this nice trunks. Bardock. Black Mass Saiyan. Brawler from another dimension. Supreme Kai of Time. Lab Time Labyrinth Unleashed. Chilled, let the battle begin. Cooler, effortless strike. And Majin Buu, Agent Assault of the Agents of Destruction. So, I mean, I think for my $63, it was worth it. I think. I don't know. I mean, these were all, on average, I'd say about $10 a piece. And you had some of them were like, I think this was like 16 This was like 16 These were like 7 7, seven. I mean, so... 70 bucks there. I paid 63. I'd be pretty upset if I paid 115, but you know, not too bad. And now I have a massive amount of cards, so I need to learn how to play the game. Just taught my brother-in-law in the past two months how to play Magic, so I guess we're going to learn how to play this too. And then we need to learn how to play Flesh and Blood too, because we have a bunch of those. <laughs> and it looks like the foils are doing a little bit of curling action. I don't know if you can see that. But... Other than that, I think these cards are pretty good quality. It's cool to finally open a full box. Oh, I forgot. We also got our promo here. Should we open that? So, I don't know what this one was worth. I did not look it up. But we'll say another few dollars on there. So, legitimately, I'd probably say we got like $75, $80 worth of, worth of value in these cards. Which, for my $63 price tag, definitely makes it worth it. If you can find it cheaper than 110, go for it. Because there are three or four cards in here. There, are, I think there's two cards that are over 300. One that's a couple hundred. There's some pretty heavy hitter cards in here. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I have some more random Dragon Ball stuff on pre-order. So look forward to one of my next videos in the, the months ahead. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.